Back in February 2023, I set out with a bit of a project to see how much food I could grow in just my front garden. It's about three and a half metres by four metres, the former count house where I live here in the West Midlands in the UK. I did it as a bit of an experiment just to see how much money I could save growing in a small space. I knew that the game of whether I could save money would be won or lost if I could make the quieter months more productive, the winter months. So I decided to put covers on the raised beds in my front garden. They're not gonna keep the beds really, really warm, but they're gonna make the plants a bit more productive. They're gonna trick them into being a bit more productive. So this is the video about how I did this. It's really important to say at this point that you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing here. You can alter the design based on the materials that you've got access to. But I started by cutting down some strips of timber to go over the raised bed like a frame. You can see me cutting them down to size and then I just screw those bits of timber together to make a square frame or rectangular frame that's going to rest on the edge of the raised bed. I then got some 15 millimeter pipe that I actually managed to salvage out of a skip across the road with the owner's permission I might add and I then measured those bits of tubing they're only 15 millimeters so they're really easy to work with and I just gently shaped them to form an arch I cut them to size made sure they were all exactly the same cut them down to size and put them inside the frame that I've just made. Now I secured these using little pipe clamps that match the size. You know, you just look for 15 millimeter. In my case, I look for 15 millimeter pipe clamps. I then fixed them in place, making sure to put the bottom of each pipe flush with the bottom of the frame. So they're gonna be exactly the right height or well, they're all going to be the same height of the arches as they go across. I then just put a screw through each of the pipes just to hold them in place make sure they don't slip down. Now comes the fun bit because this is the bit that looks really good in the video where we got some leftover polytunnel material. Now you guys should be able to get this wherever you are in the world. The key is to make sure that it will allow the light to go through and it will warm up the bed inside and just get the plants growing a little bit. You can see here, it's much easier if you have two people helping you, I can tell you. <laughs> Cover the raised bed. Make sure that you can get it as tight as possible. Hold it down roughly in place, and then you can use timber battens. Use whatever you've got to hand, but in this case, these were just some leftover roofing battens that I had to hand here. This was another skip find. You can then use those battens to secure the cover into place, and I think that's really, really cool that you can do that to get a really good tension. Once you've secured one side, you can move over to the other side and get some real tension on it. Push down as hard as you can without buckling the tubing that's going over. I then added some timber battens at either end just to stop the cover from being pushed in on itself. And for good measure, I added a hinge at one end so that I could just raise the cover to stop it from slipping down. After I finished this video, I've attached some bungee cords onto the raised bed just to hold it up so it doesn't slip down onto me. What do you think guys? It looks really simple doesn't it? But I think the project that I've just showed you is going to really really boost the productivity in my front garden. In a few weeks time I'm going to be sharing exactly how much money I've saved, yeah <laughs> spoiler, how much money I've saved by growing in my front garden. So please subscribe to the channel, like this video and I'll release that video showing exactly how much I saved. Thanks so much for watching guys. It's just started to rain, so I'm gonna run in the house. See you later.